okay, you've got a receipt from a customer, but they've only paid for part of a sales invoice. Let's head into Xero and I'll show you how to deal with that in your bank rec. Okay, from the dashboard, again, we're heading to our bank reconciliation. And we're looking at our friend AAA and a receipt of £480. Now this time, this £480 is only part payment of an invoice. Let's have a quick look at the invoice and we'll do that by going to the search box and I'm going to select invoice 67. Now what you can see on this invoice, it's for £960 but we have stated on this invoice that payment is due in two equal instalments of £480. And that's what AAA have done. They have paid half of it. Now, sometimes you will have customers that will pay part of an invoice because that's an agreement you have with them. Other times you might have a customer who makes a mistake and doesn't pay the right amount. Or you might have a customer who's hard up and wants to pay an invoice in instalments. Either way, we're going to look at how to deal with it. So back to our dashboard and back to the bank reconciliation. So now because we've had a look, we know it relates to invoice 67 and we know that half of it's been paid. But there's not a match in zero because zero would only look for an invoice valued at 480. So again, over to the right and we need to choose find and match. The list shows us every sales invoice outstanding because I'm on a demo company and because there's a lot of information in here and it's a bit out of date, there's a lot on that list. So what do we want to do? Sorry, I'm scrolling around a bit here. We want to find the invoice from AAA. So we could scroll down to find it. And here we have it here, invoice 67. If that was quite awkward to do, we could go to the search box and we could search for AAA. When we find the invoice that there's been a part payment of, we select it to the left by ticking on the box. When we do that, you will see that this word split appears. Not really an accounting term, but anyway, we kind of understand what it's about. And what we do is we click on the word split. And then Zero does the rest of the work for us. It says the balance of the invoice is 960. There's been a part payment of 480 and there's 480 remaining. If we're happy with that, we just click on split. And then we can select OK, or if we scroll down, we can select on Reconcile. Either will do the same thing. Right, I'm just going to show you what's happened to that invoice. Again, back to the search box. Select AAA, find invoice 67. And now when we look at the invoice on the screen, we can see full amount 960. 480 paid, the remaining balance of 480. So that's how you deal with it in zero when you have a payment from a customer that only relates to part of an invoice. If you found that useful, I would appreciate a thumbs up and why don't you subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified of our new videos as and when they appear. Until next time, happy zeroing.